Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you LI AI review and tutorial for beginners. Before we start, hurry up and check out our data software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do you use LI AI here? Well, the first thing you want to do here is you want to visit their official website, which is going to be li.io. Now, from their official website, we want to try this for free. But the first question here is, is it actually free here? So when we go to the pricing page here, you have the pricing that is available for LI. Now from here, they have they already actually have a free uh, plan that you can use, which you, in this case, you won't have to pay for anything. But with this plan, there are some certain restrictions. Like for example, you can only use the text to video option here, interactivity, 80 plus avatars, and all basic features. Then they also have the one minute free credit here. So one slide per re render only. But they also have the basic, advanced, and enterprise plans here. So if you want to get those, you could get. But in this case, we'll be using the free plan only. Now, in this case, let's go and click on the get started for free here. And you just need to provide your name, your email, your password, and what will you use your videos for. Ob obviously, you need to provide either it's for personal use, work, or education. So go ahead and provide those details and basically sign up. Now, when you actually first sign up here, they might ask you some details, like for example, what is the name of your business or your company and all of those details, just fill, the, fill, fill those up. But in this case, since I already have my account, I'm going to actually lock in. So let's go and click on sign in at the top right here, provide our email as well as our password to lock in. Now, once logged in, you should be able to see the main UI for Li. So. In this case, for LA here, there are going to be uh, different uh, menus or tabs that you can access. So at the left side, this is the main tabs that you can access. So you have the home, videos, templates, create avatar, avatars library, and deleted videos. We'll also have support and discuss here and create video at the top right as well as your name as well. So first things first is uh, the main UI here. What are the different sections? What is the default UI? So first is going to be the home page here. So the home page would contain a different sections from different tabs here. So for example, you have templates here, AI storyboards, start with your avatar from presentation. So if you want to quick, uh, quickly get started on certain videos or uh, certain uh, black videos or you won't create rapidly, this is where you'll be, you'll be able to do it via the home page. Now, obviously, it will just be a compilation of all the things that you could do within Li. So if you want to do more, you might need to access a specific section here. But yeah, uh, just as uh, just saying, this is just going to be the compilation or the, uh, the main uh, sections or the uh, summary of what you get to do here in Li. So at the top right, you have your name. So in this case, you have the option to view, view your profile workspace settings, your API settings, and if you want to log out, you can choose the log out option, option here. So if you go to my profile here, you should be able to see your personal information. If you want to change your passwords, what are the limitations right now on your account? And also if you want to upgrade your account to a uh, different one. So if you want to get more out of your account, you can get, uh, go ahead and upgrade your account. Now we also have the workspace settings here which in this case, you can invite people into your workspace here and even work on different videos. But obviously, uh, you need to have either a advanced or a price plan in order for you to start using this one. So uh, in this case, if you want to utilize this, like add different users or people working on different projects here, you need to have an enterprise or advanced plan. Now, you also have the API settings here. So in this case, you could basically uh, uh, integrate uh, li.io li li here on different websites using or through the use of APIs. But in this case, you might need to get a developer in order for you to get started using this one. Now, going to the tab so we could just uh, get to the left tab here. We have videos. So the, the video section it actually contains the different videos that we have right now. So I actually have one video here that I created before. So if I click on the three dot icon here, I have the option to view the edit history for this one. If I want to rename this, move this in a folder, duplicate, preview, translate, and even delete. So as an example, I'm going to delete this one, click on delete to confirm. And I want to create a new folder. Let's go and click add folder here. And let's just say this is going to be a sample folder. Let's go and click on create. Now, We've just created a folder. Let's go ahead and click on that folder. And from here, we can just basically start creating a new folder or creating a new video here. 
So in this case, if you want to create, start creating your videos, just click on create. But before doing that, let's go and discuss the different tabs first. We have templates here. So templates would actually contain uh, different templates that you could use. So for example, if you have a specific format that you want to use every time you make a video, you could create your own templates. Like for example, you have a format for tutorial videos and you want to easily use it repeatedly. Well, again, you could create your own templates via this section here. We also have the create avatar here, which allows you to create your own avatar. So you can even take a selfie of yourself and create an avatar from that selfie. You could also use the studio avatar here, or you could use animated mascots. You have photo avatars here. And as you can see, this is just an introduction of what I can actually do here, as you can see right now. So in this case, uh, if you want to uh, basically use this, uh, a fee or this feature here you'll need to basically get a plan so you have the selfie avatar or the uh buy option selfie avatar with voice cloning so if you want to use your voice as well you could get the uh, 399 annual plan here so we also have the avatars library here which in this case you can choose or basically choose one of the avatars here for your videos but obviously you could only use the ones that hasn't ha that ha does not have the premium uh, option here you can only use one of the uh, free plans here or free avatars here delete videos will contain all the deleted videos that you have so for example we want to create a template here let's go to templates click on create template and from here you can go ahead and choose one of the following formats here so in this case, uh, maybe I want to start from a blank template here, or if you want to start from information security training template, you could go and choose this one. And from here, you could go and click on create template. And basically you can just basically start editing it. Like for example, what is going to be signed for it? What is what are the images? So in this case, at the right side here, these are the uh, sections or assets that we could use like images, we have videos, we have shapes if you want to add those. So obviously you could just basically click on that specific shape. You could add it in here, press on backspace to remove it. So and basically it's just a drag and drop uh, type of tool here. You just need to press on what element you want to add. So as you can see, we have the add soul element section here. So yeah, so in this case, if you want to add GF, so you could go and just click on that GF and that will be automatically added in here. It might take a while for them to be added as you can see right now. So since I've selected my GIF here, it's going to be uh, going to the settings that I could change here, like the opacity, the layering here, if I want to make it forward, because obviously it's going to be over this one. But if I actually send this to backward, 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 and then hopefully it's going to be just behind the image that we see at the bottom right here, which is our AI avatar. Now, in this case, uh, you also have the option to uh, add animations on it if you want to like fade in, Fade left if you want, uh, custom animations if you want to apply that, appearance time here, duration for it, and interactivity if you want to. So for example, whenever it actually someone actually go to slide, whenever they click this one, they will actually go to a slide or open a link. So it depends on what the interaction you want to be. So for example, a uh, uh, slide three, whenever they click this one. So in this case, whenever I click on the empty space or turn elements here, it should actually direct me back into my elements. Now, if you want to add text, you can go to the text tab here at the right side and just basically start typing. So for example, this one, maybe I want to say hello. This is just an example. I want to change the color to maybe white, as you can see right now. Just uh, go back in here. You can change the size, line height, opacity, layering, custom animation, interactivity, like what we did before. Now, in this case, you even use the simple uh, uh, tools here. Like if you're from the word, you can change the font, the actual font. If you want to make bold, italic, or even underline, or change the alignment here as well. Now, if you want to update your avatar here, you could choose the avatar section and you could basically choose whoever you want. So for example, I want to use the uh, casual uh, option here. You could go and click on apply to all. So apply this to all of your sides here. So this might take a while, as you can see, it's now applied. So this might not be applied to everything. So you need to choose it again to make it on uh, your changes. But yeah, so in this case, uh, again, you could change to on the avatar circle or transparent here if you want to, depending on what you need for your presentation. So you can e use the studio avatar here or search by name if you want to. 
In this case, uh, what are the other tools here? So we have interactivity here, which in this case, you have the uh, questions here. If you want to provide questions on your presentations, if you want to have slide chapters, next slide, uh, the option for buttons here. So if you want a certain interactions to your presentation, this is how you do it. Now, if you want to upload your own assets like photos and videos, you can click on the upload option here and basically upload your videos. Now, you also have the option to record yourself. So in this case, record your screen and add recording to your video instantly. So meaning you can go and press an uh, record here and just choose what tab or what window you want to actually share and start recording. We also have animation, which allows you to add animations into uh, the whole slide. So once we selected this one, this is the first slide here, this will actually add a uh, slide on it. Like for example, on the intersection, you have the option to uh, fade it in. Exit here would actually add an animation at the very end. So whenever we go to the uh, second slide here, the exit animation will be applied. Now, in this case, we also have music here. If you want to add uh, uh, music into your presentation, uh, shift, the beginning shift here, the volume for itself, and you also have the option to upload your own. Now, templates will actually allow you to choose from the following templates or presentations here. Also have comments, uh, in this case, uh, will this will only be available for enter enterprise plans. Obviously, you won't be able to use it. And at the very bottom here, you have the text to speech. So whenever you have your avatar here, this is what they'll be saying in the video. So whenever you actually pl click on the play button, they will actually start saying that Welcome to the information. Uh, actual uh, text here. So yeah, if you want to upload in, you could go ahead and click on it, or you could use upload voice here if you want to upload your audio file and it would be speech that will afterwards say. So in this case, you could upload your own voice and they will actually say it for you. Have your speech here. So in this case, uh, you could specify the duration and uh, yeah. So yeah, so in this case, whenever you click on the uh, between here, so this actually allows you to add transitions in between slides. So as well, uh, like what we saw before. So slide up, wipe, smooth up, smooth down, smooth right, and all of those things. You can even change the size of your presentation if you want to make this for mobile or for PC or in like for something in Instagram. So one by one uh, size here. So once you're done, you could go ahead and click on the create video or even publish this one, or if you want to preview it first. So yeah. So in this case, those are the basics on how to use LIAI, and that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button, and watch our next video.